The Verge is partnering with this year's inaugural Panorama Music Festival in New York City. And we're going to be hosting The Lab, an incredible interactive art space running all weekend long. We spoke to Zach Lieberman, an artist with work in this year's space. His piece is called Reflection Studies. As an artist, I'm really interested in exploring how people communicate. There's so many interesting properties of light. When you think about re reflection or refraction, or the way light looks like when it's moving through a glass of water, for me that those are really beautiful. So I started to experiment with those and invite other people to try it. So we have a light table. Um, which is illuminated from below, and then there's these cut pieces of plexiglass, and then we have a camera above that's sort of watching the scene. And I've written software that analyzes the data from the camera and uses that geometry with this light simulation. I'm really interested in very primitive geometry, so taking things like circles and squares and rectangles and, and arcs, and also typography. And then in, in a lot of ways there's this joy, even this magic of like, they put their hands down and the light comes into their hands and it, it feels like they're holding light. And you can see people's eyes light up when they're using it. How many times have you been to a museum and it says, do not touch? But I always want to just have signs that say, please touch. And I'm really interested in just this notion of using code to make poetry. For this kind of projects, I really love having them in, in a festival, having them in a place where there's a lot of people, where it's unexpected to encounter art. You know, you go to a museum, you know you're gonna see artwork. But if you go to a music festival, you've seen a band or you're like waiting, you know, for some set to come on and like you turn the corner and there's an artwork. When I'm doing this animation, when I'm creating these software studies, for me it's a form of music. I just hope that people have fun and perform with it. You know, part of it is that you're a bit, when you use it, you're lit up. And so it's like you're on stage and you're kind of performing and jamming. The most exciting thing about this medium is to build these systems and then I'm constantly surprised by what the audience does. I'm constantly surprised by what the participants do when they're using these things.